What is everybody? I am back again with another video. I know, two weeks in a row, how crazy. Uh, but today I wanted to go over just some things that I've been wearing during the spring and summer. If you've been following my Instagram or my TikTok, then you would know pretty much some of these already. So go follow that. <laughs> um, also some recent pickups that I have not shown anybody anywhere. So um, yeah, I've got a decent amount. So let's jump right into it. Actually, I take that back. I say I have a decent amount, but I want to save some for I hope next week's video it's gonna be more of outfits and pairing things and more of just like a spring summer outfit video so this is just gonna be like a, a haul those are gonna be outfits so I'm not showing everything okay now let's go so I think I'm gonna start with footwear this time and first up is just this classic pair of Adidas Sambas um, I got these on Poshmark for I think like $30 I have the shoe tree barely in here right now because I'm trying to stretch this bad boy out because it's giving me a little bit of a blister. So I would say whatever your natural size is in shoes, go a half size to a full size up. I usually wear a seven. I got a seven and they're a bit tight. So maybe a seven and a half or an eight would be a, would have been a better choice. But yeah, just a basic pair of beater shoes that you could wear kind of dressed up or dressed down casually. Next is a beautiful pair of loafers from one of my new favorite footwear brands out there. Toga Virilis. Um, I never, funny enough, I did not have a pair of just pure black loafers. And I obviously wanted a pair. So I saw these on sale. I really only buy my shoes and stuff like that on sale now. So these were a part of the Essence sale. Um, I just thought they were absolutely amazing. The details are fan freaking tastic. As you can see, it's a beautiful black leather loafer, but the details with the sterling silver on top are second to none. Um, these actually kind of flip up and down like that. Um, but they are just beautiful, and on the back it has their signature kind of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, sole embellishment right here with the sterling silver. So um, yeah, just a beautiful pair of black loafers that I did not have um, wear these casually, or obviously you could dress them up with like a suit or any other type of trouser that you own. Uh, but I saw these, and like I said, I didn't have a black pair, so I fell in love and I picked them up. Next up is my baby, Racker Finn. The second collection is finally all here, so I will be releasing it very soon. But I figured I'd give you guys just a little sneak peek on the final samples that came in. So this one kind of pays homage just to the brand and the theme for the second collection is going to be, you know, it says like lucky you with a four leaf clover. Uh, I don't want to show you too much. And then just these two rings right here, the one I'm wearing and the one I'm showing you right here. Uh, you can't get a very good look at it, but it is a kind of varnished cross ring. Gives off that, that very old school worn in type vibe, which is what I'm going for, for the second collection. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the collections somewhat smaller going forward. That way, A, it's easier for me to get you guys more pieces and more collections. The bigger the collection, the more uh, options that you have to choose from that may be a little bit too overwhelming. So if I think I just keep it small, it gives you guys a very like specific window to choose from, whether you guys like it or not. And uh, I think it's just kind of easier for everybody that way. And plus, um, I could just break up a large collection into two collections and that way you guys have um, more time to either save money or make decisions rather than having one large collection than having it be gone forever after two weeks. So I think, it'll, I think it works out better to have a smaller collection more often, if that makes sense. All right, so moving into tops, I have absolutely fallen in love with knit or crochet vests this season especially with the spring and summer coming around it gives you more of an opportunity to look stylish um but also staying cool i know you guys are thinking oh my god but it's like a it's knit it's not really i mean it is but you can it's very it's breathable like i can see my fingers through it you know what i mean so yes it is a little bit more on the heavyweight side but i mean this is a very heavyweight tee and it has zero breathability so i've been loving those and they just look better than a basic tee. It's so hard for guys to dress very stylish in the spring and summer because 
um, there's not that m there's not that many options to wear things. And the second vest right here from Anderson Bell. This is even more meshy. I, I think you could probably see my shirt through it or my face. I don't know, but it's 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 extremely mesh like yeah yeah you can see through it right there it's much easier uh, but i absolutely love the colors i love the print on it and when i tell you it's kind of like a crochet material it literally feels like it could fall apart at any moment but it obviously isn't anderson bell is a very great quality um, brand they're based out of korea i believe they're a korean brand um it has an unfinished hem which i enjoy because it makes things much more casual and other than that, it's just a very easy piece to wear in the spring and summertime. And the last top that I'm gonna show you is this wonderful piece from Wales Bonner. Um, this is one of my favorite brands that I've never actually had something from. So when I saw this on the SN sale, I fell in love with it. It's right up my alley. It gives, a, it gives like that Ivy League prep school type of vibe. But once again, it is in that kind of meshy knit material. So it is 100% wearable during the spring and summertime, especially if it gets a little cool at night, this would be perfect because you could just roll up the sleeves and it would just have that perfect effect on it. But it has the hits of cream and black with the navy body, the cream collar, and it's just like a long placket right there in the front for the polo. I think it's awesome. Um, like I said, it gives off like that Ivy League vibe, which I think Wells Bonner kind of goes for. If you look at their collections, they're very, in touch with like that look or at least that's how i interpret it with the trousers and like the loafers or even like the song they have their own uh, collaboration with adidas for sambas and this right here so so i saw that and it was my first piece from wales and i love it can't wait to show you guys what it looks like on body i'll try and do that next week and the last piece is going to be this vintage pair of 1950s u.s navy pants i actually saw i actually went back and watched uh one of sanja's old 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 styling videos and i saw a pair of these that he was wearing and i thought they looked so sick so me being influenced by one of my friends i went out and got a pair of my own <laughs> i got these on etsy i think for like 40 bucks um i think they look awesome and what makes them really unique is the front right here is like a square button closure that's how you put them on, it's a little wild, but they're a very, very wide-legged pant, and I'm gonna just try and wear them with boots and give off kind of like a, I really don't even know, but I like them and I'm excited to try and style them, but that's essentially all it is right there, a pair of 1915, 1950 trousers. And the last thing that I picked up that isn't clothing whatsoever, it is a Yashica T4 film camera, it's a point and shoot, and I've been really into film lately and I have wanted to just kind of get more into it. So I got one of these bad boys that I could just take forever, take wherever I want and have it forever. And really just kind of document whether it's travel or being with friends or just kind of documenting everyday life on film. There's something about shooting on film that is so much more satisfying. Um, so I saw this, I picked it up and if you guys want to see the pictures that I'll be taking with it, you 100% need to go follow me on Instagram because that is where these will be and I'm very, very, very excited to start shooting with this bad boy. So just a Yashica T4, basic little camera. All right guys, so that is it. That is the haul slash things that I have been wearing lately. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, next week I'm gonna try and put together a bunch of outfits um, and accessorize them and all that kind of stuff. So. Stay tuned and look forward to that. But other than that, I hope you guys are staying cool out there because it is getting hot. And I will be talking to you hopefully next week. So, all right, bye.